So, by using the delete or free functions, we can reclaim the memory allocated by malloc and Kellogg. Fine, this is a good thing in the case of C or C++. But when we are talking about Java, I will just rub it out. So, in the case of Java, we can allocate the memory. Can anyone of you tell like uh, how we can allocate the memory? So, the memory can be allocated by using new operator. New operator, we can allocate the memory in the case of Java, which means like you, you have used uh, lots of lots many times about the new operator. So, what is that and how you are going to use like if you are writing class hello h 1 is equal to new of which one next I am writing now hello. So, what it will do with the help of this new keyword, it is allocating the memory inside the heap memory for that corresponding object right. So, in Java this is one way to allocate the memory and that is by using the new operator. But, so as I told like there is one way to allocate the memory by using the new operator, but we do not have any such type of process or functionality in that we can reclaim the memory allocated by new operator. Here the memory which is there we can uh, allocate it by using new operator, but we do not have options by using that we can reclaim the memory allocated by this new operator, we do not have in that. Why we do not have that? Because in the case of Java, Java performs the automatic memory cleaning process. What is that? Automatic memory cleaning process which is called as GC. What is that now? GC or you can say garbage collection we will call. What we will call it as an garbage collection? So, it is GC that is the you can say the garbage collection. So, inside this now the memory cleaning process which is being done that will be done automatically. Now, we will see how memory cleaning process is being done automatically. Now, one thing which is or we want to understand or you would like to ask one question. What is that question you would like to ask? that why what is the need to reclaim the memory allocated by the objects or the memory which has been allocated by the new operator. So, what is the use of doing that? Of course, there is no use of doing that, but sometimes what happens any time any space you wanted to vacate or you wanted to release which is having no use right. So, that you wanted to vacate in the similar case or in the similar manner in the case of Java the memory or you can say the objects which are unused, which is not having any use for that objects we need to release or the objects the memory which has been allocated by that objects we need to release that objects or, or we need to release that memory allocated by that corresponding objects. Is that okay? So, this memory allocations we need to release by uh, using that. Okay. Now, so garbage collections or the garbage GC will clean the memory allocated by whom? So, GC will clean the memory allocated by the garbage uh, sorry allocated by the unused objects. Unused objects you can say or you can say the unreferenced objects fine. Here in this now the important question is how JVM will understand that this memory or this object is unused object that is one important question to find out how to find or how you will come to know that the object or the memory which has been allocated this is unused. For example, so it is using some following techniques to identify the list of unused or unreferenced objects is it ok. What all the following techniques you are it is using? So, the it is I am writing number one technique what is that number one technique is to identify the unused or unreferenced object. What is that? Suppose, I am writing a class, it is a very simple class, the class name I am writing as usual that is hello class I am writing fine. For this class, we can create the different objects. What all different objects we can create now? Suppose, 
hello of h1 is equal to new of what you are writing now hello one object which i am creating fine after that now the second object which i am creating is hello of h2 is equal to new of hello this is another object which i have created fine let's create some more objects similarly the different different objects of that corresponding classes you have created okay fine let's consider that you have created the three objects fine after creation of a three objects now you are doing some operations on that you are performing some task in this what is the task you are performing the number one task is you may write h1 is equal to new of hello do you understand what is the meaning of this one are you getting my point what is the meaning of this one hello of h1 is equal to which one now new hello or this is one technique which we can say in this now i'll draw some memory representation of this what memory representation i am drawing now in this the memory representation like h1 h1 is taking what now 8 byte of memory 1024 it is taking this is the memory suppose this is the corresponding object suppose and a representation is 1024 fine in the first case in the second case now h2 2024 it is pointing to again some memory representations here it is 2024 and the third technique which i am writing is the 3024 it is coming to this now 3024 i am writing fine in that lastly you have written one point what point you have written in this like you are writing h1 is equal to new hello understand my point that you are creating another object and inside that that object reference you are assigning inside h1 this h1 is already holding one object reference so what will happen that the h1 suppose this is a new object which you are creating let's say here 4024 so previously our already 1024 was there inside h1 now instead of 1024 that is being replaced by the which one now 4024 fine now this h1 is now referencing this h1 which is there is referring to this newly created one this one this one right and this one which is there or this object which was already being pointed previously that becomes unreferenced what it becomes now unreferenced this is one technique in that also now you can say it is eligible for gc garbage collector we will come to the garbage collector what is the garbage collector is so now then it is eligible for the garbage collector but in that now we should make sure one thing what we should make sure one thing that this object is not using any resources then only it is eligible for the gc fine it is now now next one inside this next one is what is there inside this like suppose this is one technique which we have adopted in this the second manner is inside this itself if i am writing the second manner that inside this h2 suppose are not second manner you can say in this only h2 is equal to i am writing what is that i can write now null i can write we can write it easily and when i am writing this h2 is equal to null so h2 is now going to point what it is going to point h2 h2 is going to point to which one now null and it will not point to this one here is that okay so when it is not pointing to this one here this one so this is now again becomes unreferenced so see this is the two technique in that i'll repeat once again what i'm repeating is in a reference variable if some already object reference is available that is being referenced by or that is being replaced by some other object reference then the previously pointed object reference will become unreferenced and other will be 
pointing to that. Okay. If again inside this, when we are uh, doing like this or when we are writing like h1 is equal to new hello, h2 is equal to which one now? Null is available. So, when we are writing all these options or when we are performing all these options like h1 is equal to this one, h2 is equal to this one and h3 is equal to all these uh, different different options which I am writing inside this like h3 is equal to what is there inside the h3? 3024 it is available here. So, this is a uh, one technique to do the things inside this and in, in this manner it will identify this object is unused or unreferenced object. 